All right, hey everybody, and Hello. welcome back to Sunday Tea Book, episode 14. 14. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're hitting a new section today, so mm -hmm. super exciting, um, super exciting topic we're about to dive into. Yes, even though we're talking about green tea today, we actually chose a dark tea, which it's is autumn a, after all, mm, mm. which is a shu puar that I found is very calming. I love this tea. Yeah, we didn't have that last night, so I kind of uh, mm. feel happy. We're we're wondering if we should switch to a green tea or not, but we chose to stick to it. Yeah, stick with the shu puar. Yeah, and let us know what you're brewing today. All right, and for those of you new and tuning in, and hey there, Hey Cha Holiday on YouTube, and hey Alex Ahern on Instagram. If you're new to Sunday Tea Book, what we do in uh, in this session, in this live session with you, is we go over books, papers, and articles that are written in Chinese and are hard to access but are jam packed with great information, and uh, they may be not translated at all, or they may be dubiously translated. In which case, um, we go over them. We're gonna bring that right up on the screen and go over with it uh, page by page with you. Now, if you think, whoa, that sounds like watching paint dry, let me, uh, let me explain why mm -hmm. we actually do the translation together. Because over the last, no, it sounds a little bit boring, right? We're gonna bring a book up and we're gonna read it and translate it, whoa, snore. But actually, over the last five years working with Jen, and working with some of these difficult terms and some of the confusion with Chinese tea, I've learned so much by going over the actual the actual process. So if we just translated it and gave it to you, you'd have some great information. There's no doubt about that if we just fix up the translation. But by going over it with us, first, you guys can contribute, help us out. And second, you get to see sort of the why and the how, and that will give you insight you know, in future times of confusion, you might have, oh, it could be like this, could be, it's just, I found it super helpful. I hope you guys do too. Ask us anything. It also lets you participate with the creation of it. So in the comments, uh, you can ask us anything. And uh, yeah, so that is what Sunday Tea Book is all about. Yes, and we chose this uh, China Tea Book to uh, kickstart our uh, Sunday Tea Book series. So this book is written by my mom, uh, Jian Li, and it's a great book, uh, fantastic for people who are just getting into Chinese tea or those who has been pretty familiar with Chinese yes. tea, but with a little uh, aspects of confusions or uh, some uncertainties, this, back lay, uh, this book lays a, ground, a great foundation for a lot of uh, uh, future explore so especially when we're talking through the book with you guys uh, you can help us like Phil was uh, oh, talking yeah. about uh, help us figure out some turns and translations and in which way we also learn a lot too so uh, mm -hmm. it's a yeah. foundation book for our future read yeah because I know what confuses me but if something might confuse you that we didn't cover you just chime in and let us know mm. and we'll come back to it so the way we're gonna approach it, as I had kind of alluded to, is I'm actually gonna pull the book right up on the screen. So you guys, hey there, uh, the folks that joined on Instagram. So talking to you guys on Instagram, you guys gotta jump over to YouTube if you wanna stick around, cause we can't bring the book up on Instagram. So uh, if you wanna stick with the broadcast, uh, we're over on the YouTube. Um, I think you can find the link in the uh, in our profile or wherever it is on Instagram, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, join us there. What I'm gonna do is pull the book up, I'm gonna read through the section as it's written, I'm gonna point out what was confusing to me and how I might have interpreted it, what I think about it, mm -hmm. kind of with my beginner hat on. I wanna kind of come at it from that angle. Then Jen's gonna jump in and sort, straighten me out, and that's where you guys chime in too if there's questions there, and she's gonna make sure that we got it straight. Mm -hmm. And every now and then there's something that is just completely left out of the English side, mm -hmm. and she'll make sure that doesn't happen because she's gone through all the Chinese side. And I'll and, try my best to explain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we'll get through it, you know, together. Yeah. Uh, and really important, we've already translated it and posted it. Um, the link is in the YouTube description down below. So yes. if you want to actually pull up the translation of this episode and follow along, you can see our finished, our finished interpretation of the English translation. And yeah, feel free to do that. And it might, there's going to be some cool pinion terms and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. um, and you may have questions about those. So finally, if you're new to the channel, please, uh, Click that subscribe button and click the notify bell so you'll know whenever we go, uh, when we, whenever we do a live presentation like this, or whenever we post a video, we do stuff like vlogs, how to brew, how different teas are made. I mean, we got all kinds of crazy stuff on That's this right. channel about Chinese tea and tea culture. So I'm gonna reach over, I'm gonna grab you guys on Instagram. Whoa, whoa. 
sorry, I'm being goofy, but uh, hello, Alan C. Keen, welcome. We're just gonna head head on over to the YouTube channel if you want to uh, if you want to keep watching. But I'm gonna log out of Instagram for now and say bye bye. End video. Nice. Nice. Do a quick share. I always have to pick the cover in a rush because I'm still live with these guys, so it's always. Because you have to pick a. Yeah, it's a really goofy cover all the time. Right. So China Tea episode fourteen, guys. I am stoked. I am really stoked. Holiday just uh, finished a Hong Pao Da Hong Pao sample from a friend, and she actually made a red bean paste uh, mooncake. Oh, very cool. I think I had seen you had mentioned that. Yeah. When we were talking about how, like, they're quite heavy, right? Yes. So I'm curious, were you, how was it? Was it still heavy or were you able to find and kind of lighten it up a bit? Made a mooncake dough a few hours ago. Oh, it's the dough. So maybe it's not done yet. Oh, it's a red bean paste yesterday and the dough today. Oh. Very cool, though. Very She's cool. She's going to assemble that soon. I really love baking uh, pastries and stuff. So um, what else is going on? Uh, Josh. Hey, Josh. How you doing? Welcome to the uh, show. Show. It's more of a... <laughs> like a PBS We're show. Running more, a show. <laughs> PBS. Right? You know, it's more like it's pretty uh it's pretty educational and I'm not gonna juggle or anything, so it's not really a full on show. David Kilmer, welcome. And bacon them later. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, let us know. I'm sure you were gonna post some uh, pictures on Instagram, yes, so yes. we'll definitely be watching for those. Alright, and so I am gonna dive in guys. Oh cool, Cindy is having some poor too. Oh wicked. That is really great. Twenty thirteen old tree. And we're on nice. the twenty fifteen. Fifty. Oh, very yes. nice, very nice. All right. Well, let me show you the tea. Actually, I did. Uh, I did do a little. I took a little video of it earlier, so I can mm. show you the old tree shoe that we were brewing. Ideally, right. as a good producer, I would have showed that while she was talking about it. Totally forgot, <laughs> but there it is. Um, this and, is a new setup, but we're not used to yet. Yeah, that's right. So, and and then I put a little shameless plug coming up here. If you want to read more about the tasting notes and stuff, you can go mm. on to our website. We have the simple tasting notes on the top, which you see the keywords, yep. while the full description is below. Yeah, yeah, you got to go dig down for the description a little bit, and um, yeah, that's a great value—a little hundred gram cake. So it's a really, um, it's a really nice size. You don't have to commit to a big three five seven gram cake. What? Oh, you want to let's show them the liquor? Right. I was trying to show them the way the <clears throat> the tea drips down. It has that velocity, that velocity. The viscosity. Viscosity. Mm. That's that, uh, almost like a sappy, almost like a sappy kind of, like you feel like there's stickiness in the liquor. Yeah, I'll try and remind them on the next, or I'll try and catch it on the next infusion so they can see that. Right. I got to remind you to switch the camera. Yeah, just give me a nudge or even just say it out loud. I'm going to head over to the book though, mm -hmm. and we'll get started with our uh, a brand new section. So we recently, we had made it through, so here it is, China Tea. We made it through um, the tea set section uh, and the water section. Super interesting stuff. Mm. And then we ended up on water yes, last week uh, coming into the easy brew and relax section and starting with green tea, as Jen mentioned. So I'm super excited about this. And as you can see from the table of contents, right, this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. We're going to be going into not just today as green tea, Today is green mm -hmm. tea, but we're going to be going Which into covers a lot of a basic lot of cool and interesting stuff. things mm -hmm. about green tea. And then we're going to be diving into all these different teas that you guys for <clears> sure <throat> know and love. And maybe we'll discover a little bit about. Mm. All right. So this section is titled uh, Step 2. Uh, it's on along the side here. So I've got to scroll up and down to let you guys see it all. But it's along the side here. Step 2. Easily brew and taste relaxedly it kind of does a little dash right in the title okay so taste relaxedly hmm. all right here we go green tea green tea is the earliest discovered and used tea by our ancestors it's cool quality to resist warm and balance yin and yang in addition green tea can also be used as sterilization healthcare, and make people healthy the verdant green tea makes people want to swallow it down as if be eaten. We could be as verdant and peaceful as it. I'm going to read a couple more and then we'll come back up. Mm -hmm. First sight. Among the various types of tea, green tea has the most famous of all. Green tea accounted for more than a half. 
Because of its secretive character and durable fragrance, it is suitable. It is much suitable for sipping. Green tea not only has excellent quality, but also has unique design and higher value of art appreciation. Unique way to produce tea by laying out the fresh leaves, fiction, shaping, and drying up, then green tea is made. Fiction is the most important to make sure the quality of tea is not being detroyed. Mm, that was really literal of me. I just noticed there's no ads. Detroyed. <laughs> anyway, carefully watching. Tea leaves are dry and green. The soup is clear. Because the green tea is not taken any fermentation process, it well keeps the natural substances in the fresh tea leaves. It remains more than 85% tea polyphenols, caffeine, and about 50% chlorophyll, which are in the fresh leaves. It also reduces the loss of vitamins, thus forming a characteristic of green leaves and clear soup and convergence taste. Finally, the charming fragrance. Green tea has the fragrance of chestnut and sweet flowers and taste densely. All right. So that was the read through. I'm going to have a little sip of tea. And now we'll go through my impressions. So the first section here, the... Uh, I think before we dive sure, done, let's sure. switch the camera. Oh, have um, a look at that viscosity. Good one. You reminded me. Uh, hang on, hang on. Don't worry. Oh. It's when it drips. It's more uh, obvious. Uh. Mm. You know, compared to like a clear water or right. some... You can... I, have, show? I don't know. I, I was noticing it on the drip from the filter because it really hangs. From the hangs. filter down <laughs> and how it but hits the uh, liquor, mm. it also have that soft uh, like... Uh, yeah. But even out of the guy one, you can see the way it slow when it slowly starts to trickle, it's kind mm -hmm. of longer somehow. Maybe yeah, can, there is some difference. I I'm, somehow can. I'm gonna pour some right here. See if that can capture it. I don't know if that did the trick, but it's just that <laughs> that thickness. You know, it's yes. it's not quite. The more it's you really kind of, hard to capture that. Yeah, the more you kind of pay attention to it, the more you just kind mm. of notice it. When she first told me about that, I was like, what? kind of a little bit of uh, shock and disbelief. So <laughs> heading back to the book, can I jump in now? Yes. Please. Okay, cool. So um, up in the first section here, um, the, I think it was pretty understandable. I didn't have much trouble with it. Why? And right. except I thought as a, and this is this, this word cool quality to resist right. warm, right? So um, green tea is the earliest discovered in you, by our ancestors. Okay, this is the first sort of kind of tea that kind of was mm -hmm. getting drunk and made. Mm -hmm. But then it says it's cool quality to resist warm and balance yin and yang. These are a little bit um, like uh, Asian concepts that um, I think uh, as a newcomer to tea, I wouldn't. Right, right, right. Like green tea is hot and it, yet it's telling it has a cool quality. And I'm not sure Green that tea would, is not hot. Green tea is cool when you brew it the water is oh, boiling hot right, right, right? so right, as a right, as a right, as a hot. person beginning in tea i might be right, like right, right. oh is it sh supposed to be cool or what mm, but mm. then when you see the yin yang you can kind of figure out oh, right. I think so. it means the qua mm. the property usually i think the property is how we say it not the quality kind of thing yeah so cool property which is irrelevant from the temperature right it's but, about the, the the nature of this Pro right. Thing. That whole notion of properties of cool and hot, though, is very foreign right, right, to right. a lot of people yeah. uh, in the West, for sure. But uh, I think uh, that kind of, uh, how should I say that? It kind of just to say the nature of uh, yeah. that. And uh, for if you know a little bit about uh, this uh, balancing cool and warm and stuff, that's why we drink a lot of green tea in the spring. Yeah, it's, we can't dive summer. into the whole thing, but basically it's sort yeah, of a yin Yeah, but it's the eastern kind of a understanding. How to balance your body. It is yeah. actually related to the healthy stuff they talk about down mm. here, which we hear about all the time, right? How green tea is so healthy. Right. It, but it's not a sterilization, right? Yeah, yeah, that was a funny no. one. Um, we could, I can figure out that they mean it's got antibacterial quality. Right. 
right. like it's a it's a sort of cleaning quality mm -hmm, but yeah mm -hmm. not necessarily going to clean surgical instruments with it though right right but if you have a little cut on the skin or stuff mm. sometimes we use the tea leaves and just a rub on the surface mm -hmm. or like acne, so little pimples and stuff. Oh, that's cool. You can wash your face with some green tea. Yes. Oh, cool. Mm. And then the verdant green tea. This the ending is kind of funny too. Verdant green is just like the sort of the lush green tea makes people want to swallow it down, as if being eaten we could become like as peaceful and green as the leaf. It's nothing wrong with that. It's just yeah, a little so bit it's funny. It's really hard to translate. You know, a little bit of artistic Chinese written thing. Right. So in the uh, first site section, I think this was pretty much good. The only thing I have a note about here... The first uh, uh -huh. to one or two sentences you got that pretty much right. Yeah, Has exactly. the most one, and green tea accounted for more than a half. This, oh, actually, you know okay. what? That was pretty twisty-turny. Okay. My impression was that uh, green tea is the most... Ha what does it say? Uh, various types of green tea, green tea has the most famous of all. So. Of, there's a lot of famous green teas, right? And I think we can understand that, right? Uh, si Hu Long Jin, right, Bi right. Chun. So it means just uh, like uh, among, across all teas, despite the tea categories, green tea has the most famous. Right. The, but this one, I kind of. The most the number of famous the tea. Famous and tea. This second sentence, though, I thought meant that green tea accounts for more than half of all of the teas, famous and regular. No. Right, uh, among all the famous teas, mm. uh, green tea counted more than half of it. Right, so you've got like your your um, your um. So say a hundred uh, teas total. Yeah, ten yeah, of no. them are famous. I was famous. gonna say mother bush the whole Five of those. them are yeah. Uh, yeah. green yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's clear. I was just oh, okay. blanking on other famous teas suddenly because I'm in such a green tea vibe. Okay. But um, yeah, like. So. And then this unique design, uh, that was a little, green tea has, green tea not only has excellent quality, but also has unique design. It's just and, a shape. It means uh, the look of it. Right, right, of course. I didn't catch that at all because it just was, it just didn't seem to fit. Like, right. okay, so basically like you've got your flat lomjin leaf and your snail shape to be low chun. And um, I'm really only using those two, but there's other ones. Oh, Taiping Ho Kui has a really unique, beautiful shape. Do you want to finish the tea? Yes. I'll put that there, maybe a bit easier. No, no, no. Good. All right, so, and then in the next section. Um, How is the tea, do you like it? Yeah, I love this. So I, we, we drink this a lot. That's why he doesn't uh, mention much. It's just right. I feel like it's another evening tea. Yeah. Not like a booming aroma on the liquor, as you would expect for a shupuar, but it's got like as we were pointing out the viscosity of the, um, as we were pointing out the viscosity of that liquor when it pours, mm -hmm. the mouthfeel has that really delightful thickness. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this happened to you guys ever, but sometimes I found to when we're because this tea we drink that quite often. Like if mm. we juggle between a few shukwars and we drink them like daily, literally mm. daily, mm. every evening. Sometimes we just take them and uh, didn't give them much attention and kind of take them for granted. Yeah, for but sure. uh, sometimes when I just uh, sit down and really give them the proper attention they deserve and taste them, uh, I notice more nuance that mm. I just uh, sometimes forget and uh, uh, ignore, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? I remember this in the early days. I still like the And it developed a lot. This has really developed. In the earlier days, it had that more, um, more wet earth notes, more um, wet wood, wet earth, those kind of early shupuar notes. So um, let me just go to a larger view for you guys. I'm so tiny. So early times with this tea, wet earth, uh, really more of those fermented notes. Now they're really um, in the background. It's more like forest floor. The aroma has a little bit of like camphory, almost cedary. You know what? When you say forest floor, I really think about uh, the the pine, those mm. needly forest Precisely. floor. Yep. Mm. 
like that cam for it has a little just coming on it's not like super strong but just starting out all of those the wet earth is almost completely gone it's really subdued now yielding more like a wet wood a really warming sensation mm. really lovely okay heading back over to the book though unique way to produce I really love this tea. You're right, right? When you drink it all the time, sometimes you kind of just, it just kind of blends into your existence. Really take that for granted. Mm. And that's what I felt. Yeah. All right. So unique way to produce tea. So by laying out the fresh leaves. So these tea terms, these were really hard to understand. If you're, if you know tea, these aren't so hard, but if you're mm -hmm. getting into tea fiction or, or which later they call fixation, which we'll get to over here. But right. that, that is um, obviously that's kill green. But if you didn't know that is a really sort of bad start. I think probably most of you, most of you guys figured out that's kill green. Right. English is sometimes people call that a fixing, right? Fixing is not a bad word for it. Right. Yeah. Fixing right. is okay. Fiction or fixation are neither of those not a word mm -hmm. for fiction and fixation is totally wrong. Shaping is, um, is good. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. And drying up of course should be more like bake or roasting. Right. Or drying this even. Are just drying the, would be fine. This part just shows the basic uh, steps to make green tea. Yeah. And importantly though, one, if once we figured out that this, that the, the fiction means kill green. Are you going to show the um, image or? Oh, sure. Yeah. Once we, I don't know what's your plan for your sure. sacred image. Once we've learned, I just want to get to this point. Once okay. we know, understand that the fiction actually means kill green, they come out and say straight up, this is the key step in making green tea and okay. it has to be done right to not wreck it. So Did I, wanted... I wreck your plan? No, no, that's perfect. You... What was your plan? It's just after this oh. and I probably would have forgot. So it's really good that you're in <laughs> So we disappeared guys, but we're still here. Let me make sure they can still hear us. Yeah, they can still hear us. Mm -hmm. We're still here. So um, just wanted to show you in the processes, right? So there's the, uh, there's what they say, right? We're kill green. The second one there mm -hmm. is the most important. And I wanted to zoom in on that. So we can, um, so just so that you could see that the kill green shaping and drying with that airing step at the beginning, which we'll come to. Mm -hmm. All right. But in overall, other than the fiction thing, that paragraph is pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then carefully watching. This was totally fine. I think. Um, yeah. Clearish, a pretty light it, soup. Except a certain, uh, area i think it kind of deviates from the original right i would prefer they said um oxidation instead of fermentation here yeah you know but as we know green tea the whole kill green process is to prevent any oxidation ideally um they use the word fermentation that happens sometimes it's not like illegal or totally wrong but it is confusing because of dark tea mm -hmm. um keeps the natural substance and then there's last winds no, I think in oh, terms of the number, yeah, I think Yeah, these numbers are confusing because it clearly says... The way it says, I feel like yes. there's 85% of tea polyphenols. Mm. Yeah, that's what it does How say. many caffeine? Didn't know, right? No, just keeps the caffeine preserved, right? Right. And about 50 of uh, chlor uh, chlor chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Yeah. So, so the kill green actually helps preserve polyphenols, caffeine, that's, and that's chlorophyll. That's not the uh, original. Right. So we'll... So the original in Chinese was like a, the, it keeps most of the uh, tea polyphenols of the fresh leaf, comma, 85% of caffeine. Oh, that's the... And about 50% of chlorophyll. Okay, so in the translation, this... Chlorophyll? The chlorophyll. Eight... chlorophyll, sorry. It's actually chlorophyll, it's misspelled. Oh, oh, okay. C-H-L. Oh. So, so this 85 though, what you're saying, cause it's 85 refers to caffeine level. Okay. Uh, T polyphenol was just mostly preserved. It didn't right. point out okay. the level. Okay. Okay. So that's comp we, I would have missed that because it clearly says 85% T polyphenols. Mm -hmm. So good, good point. Mm -hmm. Good point there. And then fresh uh, Not much loss of uh, vitamins. Yeah, that's all, yeah. that's all correct, right? And understandable. Mm -hmm. 
And convergence taste. Yes. I think yeah, the last be... words. I have a note here, the last words. So I don't, this one I didn't understand. Characteristic of green tea and clear soup and convergence taste. I, I couldn't figure out what that means at all. Mm. 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 In, it means the property of its taste. The uh, forgettable convergence of this word, the, the, what it means is the, how should I say, it's not the flavor, specific flavor or taste of the, the tea. It's just the property, the, the kind of a, a characteristic or personality of green tea taste okay. is more... Uh, From the kill green process. It's a major ir contributor. Irrelevant. Oh. This part is in general sum up or conclude the green tea. It's not talking about oh. the effect of kill green. Oh, okay. Because it's really linked in the English. It says it also, the kill green, reduces the loss of vitamins, thus forming a characteristic of green leaves and clear soup and convergence of taste. But yeah. this is actually a sum up of the... Sum up of the mm. more of a green tea uh, in general. It doesn't say... Uh, Yes, of course, because the right. key of the sure. green tea process is, the, is kill green. Of course, it contributes a lot, but right. this doesn't specifically point out to the green tea process. Right. It right. means the whole green tea has this kind of a, a tasting profile. Mm. It's more like an inward, like a, it's more uh, inward. Okay. Mm. Inward. Trying to think of other ways to, to articulate that, like like sort of high-end green teas can be really difficult to describe, right? But still alarming. Mm. Okay, so the convergence of taste is a tricky one, but related mm. to the overall package yeah. of a... Yeah, it's not a flavor of taste, it's the profile of taste, the okay. way of presenting, the way the taste presented. Right. Almost like the character of the tea. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then the charming fragrance. Um, I think this was fine as well. This was pretty mm -hmm. fine. I think taste densely if you're not familiar with the thickness of a, like how tea broth can have a thickness. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it meant, sort of the thickness of the liquor. Mm, yes and no. It means both and mm. uh, it's uh, trying to say the rich, the depths of the taste itself plus ah. the the oh. the you know the taste itself can be pretty dense dense mm. but not just the mouthfeel it has the implication to the right. flavor itself got it but also you know like a, you have a, you can have a light a light flavor but that's full flavored even yes like this it's yes. the difference it's between... not about intensity level mm. it's about the <laughs> the, yeah, I know it's it's hard to explain these these um, concepts sometimes, but it's more about the uh, the fullness, the mm. the fullness of the broth, sort of like that. Mm. And I had to say, when I read Chestnut, even like we were saying earlier that this book is really it's whether you're a beginner or you're into tea, it's great, it's really helpful. I read Chestnut, and I so often smell that sweet fresh roasted chestnut aroma. Yes, in Chinese they actually point out cooked chestnut. Y yes, right? Because there are different uh, sure, aromas. Sure, sure. And I would have naturally, like when I read it, I gravitate to roasted chestnut because on our green teas I often get that and I often just stick with nutty because I can't nail down the nut, but that's the one, it's chestnut. So mm. I found that super helpful. Let's check out the comments, see how everyone's doing. See if there's any questions. So, right, Cindy was having a 2013. Josh says, "Sorry, so quiet today. Just have a terrible headache and not feeling so well. Ooh. Still watching though. Ah, thanks, man. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. I hope you feel better soon. And um, yeah, don't get too much screen time. It's not good for a headache. I shouldn't discourage you from no, watching. No, I wasn't but... thinking you can just listen, not watch it. Yeah. Don't... yeah. <laughs> and hey, Chow Holiday, I'm going to sneak off for a picture, but I'll be back. And if you still watching, oh, okay, okay." Hopefully it's related to the uh, moon, moon cake. cake. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, it's really versified. challenging. Though. Sending mending vibes your way to Josh. Oh, that's awesome. 
This is great. Vibes. All right. Do you I'm, send vibes like that? Yeah, I think that's exactly how vibes are sent. Um, I mean, it's not the only way to send Wavy. vibes, but it's a good way to send vibes. Okay. Mm. Oh. All right. So, um, I don't know. I was sipping this tea and I picked the teas because of the season. That's how we ended up with Shupuar uh -huh. in autumn. And it reminds me of our walk yesterday. Can I give them a sneak preview about that? Sure. So we went on a little adventure yesterday into the deep uh, outback of Algonquin Park. It's a park up here in Ontario. And we went to go see the splendor of autumn. The red, the golds, I mean, everything's so beautiful. Our neighborhood is bursting with color. We were up in Gatineau Park uh, earlier last week. Same thing, bursting with just explosive, beautiful color, just what you all hear about. So we're like, let's go to Algonquin Park. It'll be amazing. And I plotted this route through the outback. We're using portage trails, doing some bushwhacking where there's no trail. For me, it's a bushwhacked. Yeah, yeah. She got hit with lots of bushes. But uh, anyway, we, we didn't get lost. We got out, but we, were, we went too far north. I, I plotted our route too far north. It was all green. It was all like evergreens. Whoops. That's why when, Still amazing though. when I taste that, it really reminds me of yesterday's trip and that smell in the needle mm. zone. Right, right. All right. Okay, next page. Next section. Yes, sir. Look at, I drew all over that. Crazy. All right, so here's the next section. Oh, I, didn't, I missed a little piece back up here. What is fixation? I'm mm. going to, I'm going to get on, I'm going to tackle that next. Okay. So let me just move it down so they can see the beginning. There we go. What is fixation? Fixation is one of the first process of making green, yellow, dark tea. Make use of high temperature to make the enzyme inactive in the fresh leaf. Remove the fresh smell and release the fragrance. Restrain the tea's polyphenol become oxidation and soften the leaves by evaporating water in the fresh leaves in order to roll and make shape. Fixation is the key process in shape forming and making good quality green tea. All right, so that was fine. I think, again, once we know that this fixation word is relating to kill green or fixing, I think it's fine. But there was one part where it, it's, we, they say here that it removes the fresh smell. Now, if you think about it, it like I was like, that's, I kind of, spoiler alert, I kind of know what they mean, but if I didn't know, I'd be like, why do you want to remove the freshness out of the tea? But the fresh smell, I think what they're talking about here, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is ching chou, mm -hmm. which we talk about when we cook veggies. Sometimes when I'm making a veggie, I've, I, I kind of like them a little bit less done. And she's like, no, no, it still smells raw. It's that raw green smell, mm. right? That they're talking Grass about. Grass have that really strong. Mm. If you eat, um, Snow pea, you are used to that. Um, if you eat snow peas raw, it's, that's that's a you, lot of what that flavor is. Yeah. This is not, you don't want that in green tea. Or, I think the best way to abstract that is eat a bunch of green veggies all together and that a common taste. Oh, that's really good. Is that yeah. rawness that we call ting, yeah. ting wei. So ting wei, they oh. also exist in tea. Yeah. Right, right. And but, is undesired in, right. in um, I'm going to go with right. all tea, like all Chinese tea. Yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. So, so we won't dive too much in this session because we're going to make a video actually talking about the kill green a little bit more for those of you mm. who is pretty into this uh, topic. Yeah, it's such a key topic mm. for green tea and good green tea that it does deserve its own coverage. Yeah, so, not just the green tea, just kill green. Oh, as, yeah, kill green, as, as they said it's too. Kind of a, uh, mm. Uh, sometimes confusing for people why uh, uh, Puar has kill green and Yeah, green just like the mistake I made. A lot of people yeah. don't realize it's an important step in making a lot of teas, even mm. though it just said it right there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a really cool topic. Um, all right, next section. The basic classification of green tea. Stir fixation green tea. Long stir fixation. Um, May tea. Stir fixation. To Jen, Jen Mei, Feng Mei. I'm, I might not read all the tea types. These are all just tea types down here. So in, for the sake of being sort of mm -hmm. not too boring, I don't think I'm going to read all the tea types. But you have, mm -hmm. so st 
long stir fixation, round mm -hmm. stir fixation, mm -hmm. gunpowder tea, um, gunpowder tea, UT, Siume, I just read it anyway. <laughs> Tender stir fixation, a dragon well, and a bunch of others. Then there's hot air fixation green tea. Ordinary hot air fixation green tea. And then some examples, Ming and Zhi hot air fixation and etc. Mm -hmm. Tender hot air fixation green tea. Yellow Mountain Fuzz Tip, Taiping Huo Kui, and some others. Sun Fixation Green Tea, Jian Qing, and some more examples. And Steam Fixation Green Tea, Fried Tea and Jade Dew, etc. Okay, so I'm just going to stop there and we'll come back to what just happened. Because um, I was really confused by the whole section, to be honest. I've... I. I got like, I don't know what stir fixation is. There's sort of these, these levels, stir fixation, hot air fixation, sun fixation and steam. So steam kill green, sun kill green, hot air kill green and stir kill green. Mm. So, so we uh, just want to interrupt a bit before yeah, sure. you Cause have um, further questions. Go to our website. The link is down below in this uh, description oh, yeah, box. Go there. Um, I put all the uh, pinyin besides the um, the English so that you can see because this is a uh, hard to translate hard to translate because it's a tea term okay chao qing, hong qing, shai qing, and zhen qing that's when green tea got categorized there are four types of green tea depends on right, the process right. and it's not just because uh, uh, here um, you would probably feel like uh, oh those are different types based on fixation which is the wrong based way kill fixing green. kill green, kill green right but that's not right it's based on kill green and how it's a final dry step so it's uh, there's a uh, several two tiers of uh, classification um, right. but uh, which which no which okay so two tiers of a uh, classification and there are four types uh, Stir, stir. It's like fixation here means a pan fried. Pan, pan fired, right? Pan fried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, home team means it's um. That's the hot air one. Uh, yeah, hot okay. air one. How should I say? It's like a like a roast or a bake. Give, uh, yeah, home give us the feeling of, say, let me explain that. See if it's a. Uh, Okay. Makes sense because it's a kind of hot because all of those all have hot air, right? Right. Uh, except the steam is a hot steam. Um, but uh, home tea is like a dryer machine. I often use a dryer machine and the oven. What's the fundamental thing besides the interior structure? It's almost like a temperature and the way you do things, right? We don't say roast the clothes or bake clothes. Right. We dry clothes, but that dry is not a uh, air dry clothesline dry right. it's still t with some heat right but the level is different but it's closer to that phenomenon than it is to roasting in a closed oven that's and, and right the temperature's that's definitely the lower. kind of a feeling okay um so if uh, to simplify to think about the how do i truly understand it's uh especially for those some people go to tea regions and see the same machine used for all kinds of teas. It's about temperature setting, almost. Right. You can simplify think that as a oh, pan fry is a higher temperature. Okay? Simple. Right. And uh, this uh, home team is a slightly lower temperature. And sometimes you can even see a little difference in the finished dry leaves color. Home team is a two, uh, to the greener side, well, right. uh, the pan fried to a little bit, you know, pan fried, a little bit of uh, uh, yellower side because of the temperature of stuff, slightly. Right. The sun one really surprised me. The steam one, I think this steam kill green I can kind of get behind. Mm -hmm. That's not a sun kill green. Sun cannot kill green. It doesn't have that temperature. Oh, okay. It's Just... the drying. Like I said, the, the, oh. the, the classification are two levels. The first is oh, kill green, second now. is the drying. So this one, Shai Qing, means it's a sun dried. The last step is sun dried, like oh, Puar. Okay, puar, so this the, it's not even a fixation. This no, is wrong if we use wrong. the kill green translation. This is sun drying green tea, which yes. had a kill green some other way. Yes. 
personally, I prefer those words all in Chinese with、mm. explanation of what they mean. So yeah, just like、English. it is in our translation, we've kept the、uh, the opinion. So yes, it, those it, are specific T turns,、mm-hmm. and uh, uh, shu, uh, sorry, shen pu are loose leaf before it's pressed into、uh, cakes or stuff.、Mm-hmm. Those are shai qing cha, shai qing green tea belongs to this category. Which is what the shai qing. Oh, sorry. The, We don't see that here. Sun, sorry. This one. The sun fiction.、Ah, yeah, that okay. one. Okay. So they're sun dried before they're pressed. Yes, and、uh, just want to come back to the first、uh, section of that、uh, stir fixation、sure, green tea.、Here. This says a long stir fixation. Round stir、right. that make、uh, sounds at least to me it sounds like I stir for a long time or yeah, I totally, stir in a round way or yeah, something. Yeah, that's exactly But,、uh, what it made me think of. Or do、oh, it gently. Oh right, right? or gent tender. That's not what it means.、Uh, so long, what it means means、uh, the shape of these teas that the examples given afterwards. Oh, these are long shaped teas. Like an Angie Mai Cha. Maybe something like like needly. Uh, yeah, Angie Bai Cha has a、uh, the hong in it. Uh-huh.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's the kind of uh, you just see of it. Like if you see those uh long stir fixation, those teas are long shape, the round shape. The second one is a round shaped teas, like、okay. gunpowder. You can like imagine. Like Bioshun. Uh, no. Gunpowder.、Oh. Gunpowder. Okay. Right. Those are are like a little pellets. Yeah, pellets. Right? Yeah. Right. Then tender one means those leaves are tender, which、mm. is different than the previous two. Previous two usually consider more exporting tea and low end tea. Tender ones、uh-huh. are a little bit better grade tea, like, ah,、uh, Longjing Dragonwell, you know, Da Fang, ah,、uh, Biluo Chun. Okay. Okay. Those are more a little bit better grade teas. So those teas use a little bit like earlier plug and. Tender right, leaves, kind、right. of thing.、Uh, so the tender refers not to how the stir, but to the leaf. Awesome.、Mm. Okay. So can we? I don't want to make it too long, but I'm really interested in the two levels because we really didn't see that in the translation at all. That there was. I didn't mention too much. Those are too right. Too、uh, a little bit too professional. Right. A little bit too. For, okay. For okay. regular people, you just know. Oh, there are several、Kill、types of tea. Sure. Right. Types of tea.、Mm. Right, because this isn't classifications of kill green. This is classifications of green tea. tea yeah. So we got to think back up a level, even though. And what threw me off was the fact that this word appeared in each one of them. So these are the four types of green tea, not、mm. the four ways of kill green. Okay, which is a little confusing. Ah,、uh, right. Yeah. So、right. these are four types、oh, of tea. Again, yeah, in the Finnish it's translation. Because it's all about the fixation, fixation, fixation. That's right. But、okay. in the translation,、no. it's much clearer. Right. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I again just want to emphasize. I really strongly emphasize to remember the Chinese one because the English、mm. one you will see so many ways of you know, exactly translation just like how we keep those Chinese our our tea names are all pinned on the website is also just to avoid confusion about what、mm. exactly is the tea. These terms can if you're getting to this level, better just use the term. Right, it's much clearer for people. Yes. All right, so we'll jump on to the next section. Let's、mm-hmm. have. There's been a few comments. Let's head、okay. over and, and check out some comments here. So,、um, Cindy, Hecha, where were we? Oh,、Here. thank you. Right, Hecha Holiday says. Anyway, something that really annoys me is when fermentation and oxidation are used interchangeably. Yeah,、mm. I try not to let it annoy me, but it is. It's definitely a confusing. It's a. It's a great way to start some confusion. And the sources come from Chinese. Chinese.、Mm. Then when we talk about that, we just call that fa jiao, which、uh, is a、uh, more like an oral term. Oral term. <laughs> Uh, yes, verbal spoken. Term, verbal. A spoken、yeah. language、Informal. kind of thing, yeah, and which covers when we say that it covers both.、Mm-hmm. So when the、uh, like tea vendors, Chinese tea vendors, or sometimes、uh, English tea vendors using translation diction or something, you come、yeah. up anyway.、Yeah. It, both ways are kind of correct in yeah. Chinese. Yeah, I think there's a good cultural point. We can just go a little. This is not off topic, but it's it's the reason we do this live.、Mm. Is I want to point out that that's a kind of a cultural difference. As I think, maybe because I'm an engineer, but as Western, as, as a engineer and a Westerner, we really 
prefer pretty precise language and that's not something that's super important around the table when you're just chit-chatting in Chinese, right? As fajal, the as fajal, right? Yeah, and you know the... in this context it's oxidation, but in that context right. it's fermentation, right? And it's not a big deal. Right. But for us, we really want to, no, 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 that's oxidation, not fermentation. No, it's no. the cultural difference I and think so. our character difference. Because mm -hmm. if a bunch of people were drinking, we actually would, wouldn't audit people too much. It's right. just, okay, that's green tea. We're drinking green tea, good enough kind of thing. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to point that out because it's an interesting thing that comes up kind of over and over in terms of how they're, you know, the naming and the all kinds of different aspects. So I like to point it out. Yeah, and yeah. it's important to remember that, you know. It's the, a little manifesto of a cultural difference yeah. in this nuanced yeah. area. Yeah. yeah. And, okay, so uh, now there's a couple more and now I scroll, scroll, I'm lost. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So Cindy says, just curious why you choose to sit Puar when learning about green tea today. Yeah, so uh, I don't know, we, we just glossed over it at the beginning, but basically I pick the teas long in advance, and but we don't pick the chapters long in advance because we don't know if we'll cover we don't know two pages speed, or four yeah, yeah. pages, right? So we're not, we're not locked down to where we'll be. So I pick them totally based on my mood. I pick them, so I pick teas that I like based on the season and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. So we did discuss it though, we're like, oh, we're doing green tea today, should we change the tea? And then we looked at the puar and we're like, no, no. we should. <laughs> we, we, both, we both wanted it. We got in a bit late last night after our exploring yes. in the deep woods. So we're just like, leave it. Let's you have know, some sometimes of that. when you're really tired and exhausted, I, I want a, the real pick me up tea is not something booming, but something calming. Mm -hmm. That's why I kind of want it. I don't know if you guys experience anything like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Good question though, really good question. And we did discuss it, okay? We did discuss it. Yes, and okay. it matches with the weather here in Ontario yeah, today. Yeah, which is precisely, I, I kind of had that notion because I planned this like weeks ago, but I'm like, it's autumn, it's gonna be Shupuar weather. Right. So then Josh says, um, really matches the weather. Yeah, bang, bang on, bang on, and yeah. says, thanks. Josh, my jealousy is immeasurable. Rain, rain, go away. Don't come another day. Ah, uh, so she's in sunny, warm California. Yeah. Oh, it's not raining on us, so, but I guess it will be soon because Josh gets it's it. It's not rainy, it's that overcast. Gloomy. I prefer it's... rain than over, gloomy, overcast. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and Cindy points out that the air quality there is really, right. really bad is because it of the better? smoke. Yeah, I hope that clears up for Hopefully. you guys soon. Yeah, as Josh echoes. And Dee's Versified says, I used to drink Puar prior to <laughs> moving to Florida. It doesn't suit the weather here. You might want to try it, uh, diversified. Um, Shen Puar might be better. Or even Liu Bao Cha, right? It's hot. Liu Bao Cha is a great. Hot and hot humid. And humid like the, um, what was it? The, Singa the Chinese were working in Singapore or no, somewhere Singapore in Southeast Asia. Asia. Super, super, super hot and humid. Malaysia. Make Florida look a little bit dry. <laughs> I'm not sure about that actually, but it's super, super humid in Malaysia. Mm. And they use that to kind of deal with the humidity symptoms down there. Mm. So you might want to try Liu Bao Cha. Um, just a tip, but it, you know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. That's totally cool too. Josh says, I feel that in the hot summer we just had, I was craving nothing but fresh green tea and shampooar, and now I can't even imagine drinking that. Mm. Yeah, I've been strictly oolong and horridly shocked coffee. Don't be horridly shocked by <laughs> coffee. We had coffee this morning right. too. Nothing wrong with coffee. But yeah, I totally get what you mean on the, uh, like in the summer, we're more into the greens. You know, when he said that, I was like, that's right. That's the feeling of green tea and the stuff. However, the, the effect of like, say, Liu Bao Cha or dark, any dark tea mm. in a hot summer day is the opposite effect. I was going to say, if you want a, a satisfying sweat, like if you just work out in a hot summer day and you're just a whole sweaty, and you just want something push out, like to really release and get all the kind of fin finish off the sweat. Yes, like close then it up. That's the feeling that those dark teas would give mm. you. Not, mm. it's not like a refreshing cooling in terms of the yeah. effect. It's the opposite. Is I'm just gonna sweat it out right. and push let through. it go, push it through. Right, and that's the kind of a, a satisfying. 
feeling that dark tea has, while the green tea in summer is more of really cooling it, down. Like we said at the beginning of yes. the talk, right? Yes. It has that cooling effect. Mm, if like you want, Josh was saying. Yeah, and if you want to test that, I really encourage you guys who are either in hot climates or next summer for those of us who are not <laughs> like try that like don't don't worry about iced tea make yourself some hot green tea and uh, drink it up mm -hmm. and like don't it you're not going to instantly feel like the AC is blowing on your face but notice how you feel you know 10 15 minutes a half hour after you've had some green tea you see you'll tolerate the heat better it's really interesting so that's what they talk about that cooling mm -hmm. effect so um so josh didn't know i'm an engineer that's awesome i thought he was going to say that's hilarious but <laughs> it is it, thank, thank you <laughs> but uh i don't know so let me see uh oh they're chit chatting crazy i gotta keep up doesn't Oops. suit the weather i feel that hot summer we just had nothing but fresh green yeah right and then diversified says yep white tea oolong and green tea for me mm, mm. really great especially in the hot too but more for that cooling not for that push it out sydney says i'm confused as to why fried tea is listed under steamed fried tea you mean uh jian cha i think she's talking i think that she that's what let's she see meant. what she's talking about here i'm gonna go back to the book fried tea so the um oh i gotta bring the book up too for this me it's under steamed so the steam was down here. Oh, oh, oh that's, here. that's a yes. really good question. That's Jian Cha. That's, uh, that's the name of it. It's a straight, it's it's a straight, a straight translation straight. of a pinyin tea name. Yeah. And uh, in, uh, in, I think in Japanese, they call that San Cha, right? Yes. Right. But uh, this is because the fixation is a steam kill grain. That's why it's under the stuff. Right. Under the steam... Uh, and the name is just entirely unfortunate. It's yeah. not. It's not fried tea, right? Yeah, as in uh, it has the roasting, thing, uh, roasting uh -huh. process, but because of the, again, classification are both on right. two ways. Right. Uh, kill green and drying. Right. Okay. So kill green drying, is the first level. Gotcha. If it falls in, then there's a very clear line. Then under one big category of kill green. Right. Uh, say pan fried kill grain, right? There are many pan fried kill grain. Then you have this uh, home team, which here calls a hot air fixation because how they dry are different. There's right. another category. So there are four categories based on two steps of. Um, right. But good catch. That is confusing, right? Fried tea under steam. Yes. Mm. And um, Josh says, though in all fairness, I took my approach to loving tea, to loving tea into coffee, single origin, hand brewed, intuitive brewing in some ways. I feel a bit like Benedict Arnold, though. Oh, not at all. You know that uh, reference, Benedict Arnold? Yeah. Okay. You're not a traitor. You're not a traitor. You're allowed to enjoy all good things. In fact, that's kind of what this whole, I think, for me, I have the same experience with tea. I got into tea and start to really appreciate good food and notice when food tastes better and what makes food taste better, notice better coffee. So I think you're on the right track, Josh. I think really and tea doesn't need to be exclusive at all. I think it's really to help us open up our tasting right. experience and, and also, slow down and enjoy things. Right, right. Mm. Go ahead also, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, I knocked it out of your head. It'll come back when you're ready. Sometimes when you interrupt, you ever notice that? It just knocks the idea out. Sorry yeah. About that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hate your holiday. I blame all my chem. I blame all. I feel a bit like Benedict Arnold. I blame all my chemistry oh. stuff. You're an engineer, and before you get the pitchforks, <laughs> we're not going to pitchfork you. I have a lovely Middle Mountain Home D Dantong for today, and my new Chaozhou pot. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're safe. You're safe, Josh. We're not coming after you with pitchforks. Hey, Simmerjeet. Welcome to the welcome to the uh, Sunday Tea Book. I'm enjoying some Ying Hong. Ah, Ying Hong nice. number nine, I guess, or just a generic one. Nice. I love that tea. Cindy, thanks for explaining how you chose the tea for today. I just have missed that at the beginning. I come here directly from Zoom Church and sometimes miss the first few minutes. No worry, and thanks for joining mm. us. Um, especially after church, that should bring us some, uh, some good vibes and, you know. Haha, <sighs> Jen, for me, there are two kinds of pick-me-up. Pick-me-up for the spirit, energy stamina with tongue 
spirit, energy, stamina, with tons of caffeine, shen green, and pick me up for the soul, warm roast. Oh. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 That's kind of what I was saying. And Hecha Holiday swears by Liu Bao Cha in hot, humid weather. Mm, cool. And Josh, I completely agree. Hecha is one of my absolute favorites for both the dead heat of summer and the dead cold in the middle of winter. Yeah. That is so. Oh, oh, I, I have to say, Tianjin for trail walking. Like anywhere you go outdoor in this cool, almost mm, a little bit cold mm. weather. Oh, it's so divine. Yeah, like that smoky note and just a warming, like just like a warm blanket. Totally, a hundred percent. And um, where were I? Summer tea. I love white, white tea in the tea. summer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's really interesting how dark tea can work in both of those ways. Yeah. I usually make quite extreme. Yeah. Right. On both extremes. I don't extremes. think about the spring as a dark tea or autumn. Yeah. It's really summer or winter. <laughs> make chicken soup. Korean during style the during summer. the summer to ward off the heat. It does work. Mm. Oh, what's Korean style? I don't know. We'll have to do some research on that. We really like Korean food, so we're going to yeah. have to look into that. And Cindy says, thanks for explaining about the fried tea. I didn't, yeah, I, that's a great catch. Mm. I'm really yes, glad you pointed yes, that I'm out. Really and if anybody else has any of those, don't be shy, okay? Right. Those are a great, that's a great question. Yep, Ying Hong number nine. It's one of my favorite at the moment. Cool. All right. Back to the book. Okay. I did a little sound effect for the transition. <laughs> All right, so we're here getting we more. Where were we though? We're, I think we're at the top of this page. Yes. Top, yes. Right here. Tea distinguish of green tea. The qualities of green tea are different. They can be distinguished according to their appearance and their soup or the bottom. <laughs> that sounds a little bit inappropriate, but it's not. <laughs> You mean the bottom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're bottom, right? Fresh green tea. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you what it means till the end. Fresh green tea and aged fermented green tea. Okay. The fresh green tea, let me, the fresh green tea is bright green, glossy, and it has a strong fragrance. The soup is verdure, delicate fragrance with the smell of orchid or cooked chestnuts. It tastes sweet and refreshing. Age fermented green tea is brown and dull and light fragrance. The tea soup is dark yellow. Although it tastes sweet, it is not refreshing. The bottom of the leaves are old, yellow, and dark. Spring tea, summer tea, and autumn tea. Spring tea looks in a full and strong... Are you trying Chinese accent when you're reading? No, no, for sure oh, not. No, okay. that could... People might misinterpret that. Okay. No, I'm just trying to make it fun to listen to me because it's oh, a little okay. bit hard because of the, the the grammar is sometimes pretty bad. So I try to put some. Okay. Sometimes pauses. you make fun of my <laughs> act. Oh no no no. In good nature. In good nature, you know we goof around all the time. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, spring tea, summer tea, and autumn tea. I don't think anybody here would mind. Right. And I won't. But I won't do an accent while I read. Spring tea. <laughs> Because sometimes I, I make his English bad because I don't watch very carefully about my grammar. So we both have no, negative not, effects on It's each not other. your fault. It's my no? fault. I should be more careful about that. But you yeah, know you're how when, you, when <laughs> Yeah, when you, but when you're with somebody and you hear it a lot, sometimes you fall into the same bad habits. Anyway, I'm going to get back to reading. Okay, sorry. Spring tea looks in a full and strong shape. The color is dark green, glossy, connected closely, heaviness. The, the tea soup tastes strong and sweet. It also has strong fragrance. The bottom of the leaf is bright and soft. Summer tea is in a wide shape and has mixed color. The fiber of the bud is clear. The soup tastes puckery. The leaves are hard. Leaf veins are clear and it is mixed, up. It is mixed with arugo leaves. We'll get to that, don't worry folks. Autumn tea is in a tight and slimy shape with more fine ribs, light green. The soup is light in both color and taste. It is a little bit sweet and fragrant. The bottom is soft. Mm. And, and most is coppery single leaf. All right. Slimy shape, I didn't recognize that. Right? It's not slimy, probably missing an M. And slim leaf, but not slimy. It could be, oh, that could be what they slim. meant, but I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. call that okay. out as one of the things that, I was like, slimy, what's going on? It's hard to translate it. It's really right. hard even for me to it's translate It's really it. an art. I was thinking about it. It's because it's all tea, 
the tea、um, tea terms. How you describe tea in?、Mm-hmm. Uh, Just regular dialogue. It's not a regular, uh,、yeah. like a daily talk. Yeah, that's if right. If you talk to this kind of a world in Chinese to Chinese, some people are like, "Ah,、oh, I know you're saying Chinese, but exactly what it means, they don't know." Right, right. So where are we? The distinguish of green tea, basic classification of green tea. Right. We finished so, that, right? Yeah. The first paragraph.、Right. I just want to quickly point out. Right at the bottom here, because the Chinese version is called Ye Di. Uh, in this book, we often say the bottom. The bottom it means the brood leaf. In Chinese, we ca- we call the leaf bottom.、Mm. That's why、mm. uh, here often see that. Yeah.、And、so guys, it's not in- inappropriate,、yes. unfortunately. Yes. So here it calls out, and you probably ever since we started our business,、uh, the website, I always insist that our pictures must have the leaves. The、uh, the leaf. leaves, the liquor, and the brewed leaves.、Mm-hmm. So、those are three major elements to look at、uh, when value essential. When ideally, we'd love to、tea. give you a sip. Yeah. This is the best we can do. Yes, and、uh, it's not just a green tea across all tea type.、Mm-hmm. Those are the three mandatory kind of、uh, elements、yeah. to look at. That, let's repeat them: the dry leaf, dry leaf, the liquor color, the、mm-hmm. liquor, the, the, the liquor, liquor, not just the color. That's right, the, the brewed liquor. liquor, yeah, and the、uh, br- and the brewed, brewed leaf, leaf.、Mm-hmm. Yes, or the、right. bottom. The bottom. <laughs> 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 I'm just being silly. All right,、okay. so that's a great point. The distinguish of green tea,、um, the qualities of green tea are different. So,、um, do you have any? They can be distinguished according to their appearance and their soup. No, this was pretty good in general. Yeah, this is pretty good. Except for the bottom,、good. you got to clarify、right. that that means brewed leaf, but that was pretty good. So then we get into fresh green tea and aged fermented green tea. So I was this at first sounds so t- high tech. Yeah. You think, oh, that's a kind of some kind of green tea, but then like, and especially if I'm new to tea, I might I might actually think we're talking about two different styles of legitimate、right. green tea, but then. Because of my experience, I kind of realize, I think this means stale. Yes. Age fermented, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so that was, but that was, I think, a little bit confusing at first. Age fermented. I was like, it would be、Ooh. more like an age oxidized. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I realized as I got down. Right. right. But、uh, at first, I was like, oh, I'm going to learn a new tea. No. So,、um, and then verdure is. Uh, the soup is verdure. I had to look up verdure again. I'm going to use the engineering excuse, but you know my vocabulary is not that deep. This means like lush green,、right. from what I could find out. Which is certainly fresh green tea does not have lush green soup. Like the、no. only thing I know that has lush green soup is matcha.、Mm. Um, so this is especially kind of, compared to matcha, it's definitely not lush green.、Mm. So、right. this is not. This is a mistranslation, I think. Yeah. And that's it. Once I figured out age fermented and verdure, I think the rest was pretty good. Under age fermented, if I know that、um, this is stale, I'm pretty good. Except on the first paragraph、mm-hmm. here, the strong fragrance. I think it could be misleading to some people. Okay. You think the tea should have strong fragrance? The word strong. It just means it have a very obvious tea. Fragrance. Tea aroma, right? Yeah, and、uh, the strong sometimes make me make people feel like it has to be booming, or it's not like that. Right, right. It's not a、uh, strong. It's just a pretty. You can smell a good tea smell.、Mm-hmm. It's tea leaves smell. Okay, yeah, and green tea is really paradoxical. Like sort of、yes. the the more high end they get, the more that becomes elusive,、mm. and、um, inward. Okay, so that's good. I didn't pick that up, but that's a good、right. one. And, the rest、uh, is pretty good. Yeah, aged fermented was pretty good、okay. too. Right. And、um, spring tea, summer tea, and autumn tea. I'll just get that in the right position. This one is all good for you. Yeah, I, I think, think that's good enough. Once you the... figure out aged fermented means stale. Right. Um, it's、uh, it seemed fine. Like the、mm-hmm. colors here were more accurate, right? The tea、yeah. soup is dark yellow. Yes, that's about right. The、yes. the leaf does turn dull. Sometimes、yes. it'll turn a dull green, not、yeah. necessarily brown, or turn、yeah. a yellowish. Um, but it was pretty good. Yeah, dark yellow is okay for you. I think the it doesn't mean the tea soup color is very intense or thick or dark yellow. It's just the color 
right. color is like that. It's still those lighter, transparent, okay. pretty transparent. Okay, but instead of that crispy greenish, that tinge of green, it's now more of a like a golden yellow. Yes, yes. In, mm, imagine off. the opacity is still at 10% of dark yellow. Right. That kind of thing, right. not like right. the whole thing become dark and yellow. I'm going to cross out dark, okay? It's not dark, it's just yellow. Yes. Okay, spring tea and autumn tea. So full and strong shape, I find that hard to, I found that hard to imagine, especially if I was, a, if I'm a beginner in tea, what is a full and strong shape? Um, it's really relative and it was similar for summer tea, wide shape. Right, I'm gonna, here I think uh, rather than picking out, because there are so many things to pick out, like to correct in this area, I think better just I'm gonna explain that in a more comparison way mm. cross this so that you guys can understand and you can check out the uh, our the, translation, the translation. Mm -hmm. uh, link down below rather than uh, you know just to pick out those right. full of mistake or weird description right so uh so those those three paragraphs are what well, i just really wanted to have my time time with slime slimy. <laughs> i didn't even notice i because i know it's a slime Oh, Sli so when I, I said slimy, slimy, you were like, what? Yeah, I didn't think of that. Anyways, so these uh, these three paragraphs uh, were describing spring, summer, and autumn teas in uh, the three as four aspects, respectively. Okay? They all start by describing the dry leaf, shape and look right. then talk about the liquor then talk about the taste and talk about the brew leaves so that's kind of the struct structure of each paragraph see, they're yeah. identical so in terms of the look summer teas are these <laughs> full and strong those are t words okay it means sturdy uh, like uh, i'm trying to use a person to Describe to tea, metaphorically okay? describe yes, it. Right, yes. right. Imagine uh, the gym instructor. Right. Okay. <laughs> Fit, healthy, Fit, healthy, resilient, and strong. Right. You know, it's not just a big. It's not just uh, right. you know, it's fit. And uh, okay. color is a uh, uh, well. The summer tea is more uh, slightly in terms of the row. The shape of the row is looser. You know, so uh -huh. it's more like, a, how should I say, it's a quite fit person start to have a little bit padding. Right, Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Just That's a good metaphor. I'm That's trying a good metaphor. to make that more clear because those are all right. key description and a certain point if we don't show you side by side, it's hard to imagine right. what kind of loose. But just imagine that people, and it's not very easy, even with pictures, because without uh -huh. enough experience, say. you were like, what are you talking about? This yes. is just the slim. This I is the fat. I get it. But what is sturdy, yeah. right? I think you need a massive Yes. Bottom. I just wanted to say that's one of the things that makes this book great. It's got some great, great for beginner stuff, but if you come back to it after you've been a beginner for a few years and reread it, these kind of sections, mm. you'll be like, oh, now I get it. Yes. Because you've really yes. got to touch, see, feel a bunch of tea, yeah. and then you start to know, oh, yeah, I've yeah. had some that don't quite roll up and they're yes. really easy to unfurl. And that's why when we, t uh, mm. uh, when people ask that, you know, to learn tea and stuff, like forget about all the theories or all the little things. The step one is always have enough tea and observe enough detail. Mm -hmm. So when we point out things, you can connect them quickly rather than without yeah. data. You cannot do any process. I want to echo what you said because you said have a lot of tea and observe them mm. right it's it's not enough to just have the tea and yes. enjoy it and it's if that's what you're into probably yes. you're not watching it's us, people right? tea learning yes. but if you want to learn tea you got to have and observe touch it get get physical with it don't be shy yes so the last one is the autumn tea in terms of a shape is look like you know a little bit overly slim mm -hmm. that's the look okay. slim shape not mm. slimy not slimy <laughs> I didn't get it. I really thought it was slime. Oh boy. Port slimy on the tea. <laughs> so slimy really spell like slimy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There's no slim e. No slim. Slim is is the a, words. a jada. That's right. Okay. 
Okay, then it talk about the color. So summer, uh, the spring tea is more uniform the green, while summer tea has a little bit uneven green tone. Mm -hmm. uh, uneven skin tone, skin tone. I mean, color tone. <laughs> so, yeah, I gotta talk about this word. You cannot. I gotta explain that because that was a really crazy right, word. Right, that's the last on the brew leaf area. Right, right, that's right. Then the autumn tea is uh, green, but it feels lighter. Okay, it's. Uh, oh right. Yeah, if you do a lot of gardening, you will notice. You know, plants are different mm. in different uh, yeah. temperatures and right, stuff. Right. That's Same plant related during to different that. seasons. The yes. new leaf come out differently. Yes. Mm. Then you brew the tea, you can see the liquor difference and uh, you know the, the spring one is more refreshing and riching, uh, rich sorry. and the summer one has a little bit more astringent mm -hmm. uh, and the autumn one is... Uh, Puckery? Uh, yeah, it's a kind of a little bit sweet but it's more balanced, like almost no character. Not like saying no flavor. It's like a person not much of a character, like those people who disappear in the crowd. Kind of tea, okay? And it um, sounds so sad. <laughs> sorry, I just feel like because we see enough people, that might be more resonate. Right, right. Mm. Then talking right. about but like you said, not a bad person, just blend in person, yes. and not yes. overly standing out, not overly awful. Right, and in terms of the brood leaves, the. Uh, spring one is soft and bright while the summer one you will see a little bit more vein like more vein is a, a little bit more fibrous right mm -hmm. then the color has your favorite word arugo arugo i don't know what how to say it but i i looked it up so at first i looked it up and this word meant um it's just like rust so i thought oh it's brown leaves and it makes sense summer might be dry you might have brown leaves but then mm -hmm. when i dug a little deeper this is actually specifically copper and bronze rust so it's actually like a that bluish green that that sort of lighty nasty green that copper gets mm. so i guess that's the color we're mm. getting because the leaf that's is that's right mm -hmm. that's right that's why when when talking about the autumn one it is mentioned about that coppery Coppery single leaf. Mm -hmm. It's just the color is more to the yellower side. Right. Yeah. yeah this is the one that's actually yellow. Single yellower. leaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, just want to summarize today's session in terms of the uh, learning a lot from green tea is when we just get into tea, we know there's tea, then we know there's green, yellow tea. Mm -hmm. And when you dive in, the green tea still have so many types, right? Here it really just gives some uh, like guidelines and a rough uh, comparisons mm -hmm. and stuff. Like uh, when we talk about, uh, say, summer, spring, and autumn teas, even though in the book it's talking about green tea in roughly, but uh, I cannot uh, compare a uh, 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 Zhuye Qing summer tea with uh, say Longjing spring tea what's the color different they are cross types right you know so many differences yeah, it's like, it's, uh, like uh, uh, compare the difference between uh, say the aging of people we compare with ourselves you say if I take my 20 years old picture with his 20 years old picture and talk about aging there's right. no point right. kind of thing mm -hmm. um, right yeah so a lot of that just to give you an idea about what are the elements to look for. Right. Yeah. Cool. Let's, um, let's, there is lots of chatter. Let's go see what the comments are. I want to find a way to kind At of the keep, same time. Yeah, keep an yeah, eye yeah. on the comments while Maybe we go. Maybe here. We're, we're going to work on that, guys. We're going to work on yeah. that. We're going to improve our, our tech guy is going to get yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's nice if you're throwing out a, con, a yes, comment like that's, that's uh, related. I want to catch it right away. Mm. So we're up here. Yeah. Oh, good job. No, well, I mean, I don't think they meant a, no. They, I don't believe they meant arugula. Arugula is the. It's like yeah, lettuce, but right. it, like he, it's it's also related to leaf, so it could right. have been that. So that was where I first thought. I'm like, is that what they mean? So I looked up exactly as it's spelled, and it's really a color, uh. right? And it's that copper, rust copper, rust and bronze copper. Mm. Weird. It just uh, I want to just throw in this. Uh, this happens to me too. 
uh, as a second language person, I have those uh, times that I want to express a certain word or certain things, and I don't know how, so I go to the dictionary,、mm. and based on the dictionary, or you know, the English Chinese dictionary, and based、mm. on the Chinese I read, I was like, oh, that's the perfect word. Then I use it, and the English first language people were like, what? You know, so this happens a lot to this point. Yes, yeah. I really, really think that's I think how that's、exactly、she got these words. Yeah, because it's not like in the daily use at、mm. all, or as far as I know, even the moderately used. Right. So Hecha Holiday is off to bake her mooncakes. So she's probably already gone. But everybody who's still here, please send her good vibes so her mooncakes come out really good. <laughs> yes, yes, it's very challenging. It's、okay? really challenging. I never challenging. even think yeah, of making. Yeah, yeah. I wish、um, her all the best. I'm really yes, looking forward、yes. to see them. Cindy says not really about the book, but Jen mentioned. Oh, oh, not about the book, but I mentioned the photos on the website. I just want to say that they're fantastic. Best of any site I have seen. Oh, thank you. Who takes those pictures? I do. Right there. She、yes. is amazing. I have to say, she does a great job. So thank you. I tell her that all the time, but it's just me, right? Well, everybody has that when their husband says, "Oh, you're so good." They're like, "Oh, you have to say that." We we. But I'm so glad you、that. said that, Cindy. She <laughs> does a great job on that. Yeah. Thank And you. And you could say oversaturated yellow. Maybe、mm. for that, I can't even remember how to pronounce it. Did I write it down? Arugo, arugo. The A E throws me off. Is it arugo, like aerospace? I think、Arugle. he was return,、uh, talking about the dark yellow thing. Oh, could be, could be.、Mm. I think here is the thing. I have been okay. You guys can help me out on this one, okay? I always wanted to do an episode on color and.、Uh, Liquor color one is kind of off the tea topic a little bit because the color,、uh, because even though tea uses color to describe, but color you know art people probably have way better way to explain that is saturation. I feel like it's not. You, we talk about saturation. We、mm -hmm. talk about opacity.、Mm -hmm. Like、uh, I mean, dark yellow can be a hundred percent opaque. It looks really dense, and it、right. could be ten percent, which just give you that dark yellow tone. The tinge, color is tinge. tinge. The color、mm. is still that, and、uh, those are like really kind of a tricky to imagine. And also, the brightness of the color also matters. I think,、right. in terms of you know, like if somebody who is more into like、uh, painting or stuff, they would know Fifty <laughs> Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but that's what I mean. Like a bis color have several indexes. What a bad movie that was. <laughs> I, I don't think painters have that bad taste. Oh, sorry, I just suddenly thought of that different shade. Like, but they'll understand the nuance of a given index. color. Index. What is、mm. the change of uh, uh, brightness? What is the change of the tone or right. stuff? Right. Yeah, but, and different axes of it.、Mm. Like it's not just the, how dark it is or light it is, but how saturated、yes. or unsaturated、yes. or opaque or. And second was、uh, another thing I always wanted to do, but I couldn't find a way. Because sometimes when explaining things, I like to have a structure, and、uh, so that when people are listening, they they kind of understand what I was saying, rather than just a simply explaining. So I wanted to talk about、uh, tasting notes about strong, because I often point out、uh, how strong the word strong as a use can be misleading.、Mm -hmm. so, some, totally. If I tell you this is a strong tea, you think it's a really puckery and a really like a yeah bold in your face. In your face, it's、mm. talking about the intensity of the brew. Sometimes it's not necessary. If I say this is a strong tea, when I want to refer to the flavor, like a rock tea, compared to green tea, is a strong tea. No、right. matter how you, it's the、right. pro, uh, flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Right,、mm -hmm. uh, and uh, sometimes rich or something. Because when we talk about white tea, you can have such a full spectrum、oh. rich tea that is so light in intensity. Yeah, like was... those words could be sometimes used a little bit like misleading or yeah, that remind... not clear. Yeah, that reminds me of、um, uh, Tai Mu Shan when we were drinking those crazy good top grade Bai Hao Yin Jen. He pulled out those three.、Mm. And though they're 
like I wouldn't use the word strong or bold because because of that connotation, but they were so full. Like a full body, but not incredible full body. full body. Yes, but yes, it might but still be confusing. Strong, but really, might, exactly. yeah, people were thinking about the really like a strong things. Yeah. But that's the one thing. Part of the problem is is that is a rare. That's a pretty that's unique different, aspect to tea. I that, think there's a different aspect, also different index of. Uh, uh, flavor. Sometimes we of, say of taste perception, maybe. Yes, ten flavor is pretty rich, but the depth of flavor is another. Like it's a three D kind of thing. Right. That sometimes we get them mixed up. Anyway, it's right. just a topic I feel like I all really wanted and needed clarifi clarification. Sorry, cool. Clar clarification, but really hard to make that. Uh, easy to understand. Mm -hmm. You probably have no idea what I just said. Cause I hope they do because <laughs> I want to know if they want to hear more about that because I think that's a really good point and it's a really good aspect to explore. Mm. But, but it really matters what they think more than what I think. So let us know <laughs> if you think that's a cool topic you'd like us to cover. Mm. Let's see, um, Cindy said wow again. She loves the photography um, and thought we had a special photographer. We have the specialist photographer in the world. You are multi-talented. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And Josh says, yeah, so I took a few classes that touched on the topic of I color. just realized dogs wiggle tails, I wiggle head when huh. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh did some courses that touch on different perspectives mm. from art to science. Oh, that's cool. To psych, psychology. Saturation is how much, well, pigment, well, pigment, there is how much of the color and the strength of the color that's present. Opacity is often misused, but just refers to the clarity or scientifically speaking, how much light is able to pass Passing through. through. Yes, the second brew of a dark old shoe would be highly opaque. The second brew of a dark old shoe would be highly opaque. Right, right, because it's going to be almost black. You got to get it out quicker though, Josh. <laughs> and Dees Versified says, I want to learn. Okay, cool. The topic, the, the oh. color. And Cindy says that explanation of strong is good. I tend to think of it as how intensely it is brewed, not the actual nature of the tea. Yes. Yeah, and, and neither are wrong. It's just they're a little bit, it's a bit vague if you don't dive in and clarify. Yes. And, and especially, Phil, mm. if I'm talking to somebody who uh, just come out of a, like a tea bag tea, I, I'm usually pretty cautious about using certain words. Right. Because they would think... Right. Naturally coming from teabag, you're still in that sort of coffee strong, teabag mm. strong paradigm, not the, in, not the depth of the aroma and flavor in the tea. Mm. And then Josh finished about the color theory is yeah. super complicated and I found parts even quite hard to understand. Language can only do so much in a visual medium. Mm. Yes. True yes, enough. True yes. enough. All right. How many so, infusion did I do? I think this is the last one. Yeah, that is a lot. We got a lot of that. I but really love this tea. It really has from, great legs. Uh, can you see that? The drip? I probably from that. Anyway. Can you see it? That's pretty good. Oh, this is... See that drip? Mm. That how... That's like a, almost like a... Uh, the extreme of that... Uh, uh, what's the word? Vis Viscosity? Viscosity is like maple syrup, like syrup drip. Is a, right. You can see the drip become low and drip down and melt into the thing. This is not quite there, but like 10% yep. of that kind of thing. But it still has the thickness mm -hmm. it's a, because of the material, even though we've infused it, I don't know, eight or nine times or whatever we did. And you can see the liquor is quite light now. Mm -hmm. And the liquor will still have that thickness. It's divine. Yes. And bonus point. If you like any aged tea, a real good aged tea has this quality. Mm -hmm. If the liquor is not, doesn't have the elasticity. Yeah, the, that's a good term. Like the elasticity, elasticity, the stickiness almost. Yes, no matter mm. what tasting notes you have. Right. All right, folks. So I'm going to just go back. I, I will go back to the book just quickly. I meant to... Um, because I always love to have a quick peek at what's coming up. Mm. So what's coming up next week, as I kind of alluded to, we've got, look at this, we've covered the sort of the basics of green tea here today. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to dive into a bunch of different green teas. So 
Join us again next week for that. It's going to be awesome and it just gets better and better. We're going to cover dark tea as mm -hmm. you can see. Dark tea, oolong tea. We're going to be uh, we're going to be diving right in. So, if you love this kind of content or even just like it, um, please give us a <laughs> <laughs> Please give us a thumbs up. It really helps. Scale the one to ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's just thumb up uh, or thumb down. If you hate it, if you sincerely hate it, you can give yeah. it a thumbs down. I don't mind, but uh, hopefully not. Give us a thumbs up. Well, helps the you channel. You gotta grow. leave a comment and tell us why. If you give yeah, a yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Don't just leave a, a an incognito thumbs down. <laughs> Preferably <laughs> leave us a thumbs up. Okay, this, this, remember this, that's good yeah. enough. And then uh, another way to support us is to head on down to the, to head on over to the website. You can try some of this old tree shupuar. We've got mm. all kinds of great green teas. We've got a, uh, we've got a new, just a, uh, just not just arrived, but just posted steamed green tea. Also, if you want to try a, a steamed green tea alongside a pan fired, um, help me with the name. It's just escaping me right now. It's a Guizhou Zhen uh, Zhen Qing Cha. Guizhou Zhen Qing Cha mm. on the website. Yeah. Treat yourself while you support the channel. We would love that. Yeah. And, and until... North America in general, the shipping is getting better and better in terms mm. of uh, the accuracy of all the predictions. The, the date, yeah, the yes. dates when it get there, they're getting back to sort of n more normal. Mm -hmm. So guys, stay safe. And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping. Oh, I gotta press the button. Right.